mice and mice. Julian was still holding the bottle with Hecuba inside when he went into the mansion. <sighs> what do you mean, Tibby, going to do? I don't know, Timmy. It was hard enough getting onto the estate without being caught. These cranes have more security than an M&M concert. Oh, if only Julian wasn't the one who found the bottle. He's carried it around with him ever since, like his whiskey flask. Totally unaware of the witch within. We've got to get it back from him before Hecuba unleashes any more evil. Oh, it just has to be some explanation. Rebecca. <laughs> I thought you'd like to come home to a little something warm in bed. Oh, and apparently I was correct. <laughs> I can tell how happy you are to see me. Oh, <laughs> this. <coughs> yes. Well, why put a bottle in your pocket when there's a tiger in your tank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> I found it earlier down by the wharf. <laughs> uh, I, I thought it rather interesting looking, so I picked it up, and for some strange reason, I've become <laughs> quite attached to it. <laughs> That's right, Richie Rich. You'll never be rid of me. What is unique? Hmm. I wonder what's inside. Your worst nightmare, you flashy floozy. I'll make your schemes and machinations look like child's play. I have no idea what's inside. Alas, I've been unable to open it. Well, let me try. You know what a strong grip I have. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed I do. What is it, Tabby? I'm not sure, Timmy. But I sense that trouble is about to be unleashed. Well, wait a second, we just talked about this in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I get it. You were just you were just joking, right? You're just teasing me about getting married now. <laughs> you really had me going there for a minute. That was a good one, Sheridan. <laughs> We're just joking, right? About getting married now? I... You don't really want to get married now, do you? Well, look at that mark that thing left on the go. Oh, my God. Come to us! Come to us! Don't resist us! I think he's hurt worse than we thought. Yes, I don't think he's breathing. What? I think he's dead. I think Miguel is dead. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so really want to get married now, do you? Well, when you put it that way, what is Sheridan supposed to say except no? Well, we just said it, you know, it's, it's better to go slow and let things progress. <laughs> We're not kids, right? We don't have to rush into anything. We can just wait till the time is right. Right? That's what you said. Well, yeah, but I thought you felt the same way. Well, apparently you thought wrong. 
that's what you felt, why didn't you say anything? What was the point? You seemed so adamant that you weren't ready for marriage now. Well, I just figured you weren't ready for marriage either. I guess I didn't really ask you, did I? No, you didn't. Well, I'm asking you now. Do you want to get married? He's not moving. <laughs> the serpent demon killed him. Hey, he killed him. He could just be in shock. We tried to tell him not to go back into hell. We tried to tell him it was too dangerous, but he just wouldn't listen. He, he was determined to save Charity. It's too late. The girl's gone. Along with Charity. I got a pulse. You do? <laughs> yeah. He's still alive. He's just unconscious. Oh, thank God. Well, um, maybe we should call Simone's mom and, and have her come over. I, She'll know what to do. I don't think the traditional medicine can help injuries inflicted by a supernatural monster. So what do we do? Well, first of all, let's get him out of here. Away from whatever the hell's in that closet. Ready? Left. Good job. This would have happened if it hadn't been for Hecuba. Stop shaking that bottle, you bimbo! It's not how you open it! Well, shaking it didn't work. I guess I'll try to pull out the cork, huh? Mm. Ooh, work it, Bex, work it. For once, I agree with Julian. Pull out the stopper, toots! Release me! So I can unleash my evil on all of harmony! <laughs> Do you mean Jerry should go home where it's safe? That's just it, lad. We won't be safe until we get that bottle back before it's opened. If Hecuba is released, the two of us and the entire town of harmony. I'm getting closer. Oh, well, give it all you got. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. One more pull, and I'll have it open. <sighs> it's close. So close. You can do it, baby. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Open the bottle! Ooh, release me! So I can unleash an orgy of death and destruction to all of harmony! <laughs> We've got to find a way to get inside and get that bottle. Shh, shh, shh. Someone's coming. Hide in these bushes here. Nice fella. Huh? Someone in there? Huh? <sighs> oh, this is it. <laughs> yes! <sighs> and now it's not. Huh? I can't get it out. Uh, see, <laughs> neither could I. See, this, uh, this stopper must be stuck for good. No! No! You have to keep trying! You have to get me out of here! Now, tomorrow I'll smash it open with a hammer, then we'll see what's inside. Yes! Tomorrow I will be free! Free! To wreak havoc and destruction in harmony. <sighs> I want to get married. Luis, no, I... Just please, tell me what's in your heart. I, I want to know. If you're asking me how I feel and what I really want... I am. Then yes. I've always wanted to get married and have children. Yeah, I want that too, but... Do you want it now? What I don't want is for you to feel pressured. 
You asked me a question and I answered honestly, and I don't expect anything to come of it. But if you want the truth, then I would rather get married sooner than later. I'm worried that Miguel's still unconscious. He's a fighter, Mrs. B. I'm sure he'll be okay. I, I still can't believe what happened in Charity's room. I mean, if it weren't for you, my Miguel would be dead for sure. Be gone, serpent. Be gone. Be gone, instrument of evil. Leave this world! How'd you do it, Mom? I don't know. I mean, the angel came to me and she told me that I had this power inside of me that could stop the serpent and save Miguel. And that I just needed to use my faith to bring out that power. And I just, I, I thought about God and his love and this, this feeling came over me. Interesting. Well, what do you mean? All the Standish women seemed to have certain powers. Charity's mom had premonitions that evil was coming after her and Charity. That's right, and then my sister died in that awful fire. And then you've had premonitions too, Mrs. B. You said evil was coming to Harmony, and it's definitely here. Yes, Angel warned me about evil. She said that there would be trouble and, and pain. And Charity's had premonitions too. Maybe that's why this witch Hecuba has targeted her to be sent to hell. Let go. I have to save Charity. It's okay, Miguel. <gasps> uh, it's okay. You're all right. The serpent's gone. You're all right now. What happened? It's okay. okay. The Charity isn't. I have to get to her. <laughs> I have to save Charity. No, Miguel. Uh, no, stop. <laughs> If you don't want to catch something, you should go to Tabby's house and ask for Fluffy. Is someone in there? Oh, tell Timmy that's not a human bone. Let's just say it's left leftovers from our friends in the basement. An old bone? I <laughs> should have known. There's no one in there. Well, let's go back to the guardhouse. Oh, that was close. Oh. Timmy needs a more Timmy to calm his nerves. Timmy needs a reality check. We don't get that bloody bottle back. We're busted. Since I'm going to be out of here first thing tomorrow, I might as well get some shut up. I need to be at peak power. Yes, so I can inflict all the misery I have in mind for Tabitha, Timmy, and all the good people of Harmony. <laughs> Julian Crane and the Scarlet Harlot. And be sorry they ever opened this bottle. That is, if they live long enough. <gasps> oh. Is there something wrong, my pet? <laughs> no, it's just that you're such an incredibly imaginative lover. Well, I was just wondering if maybe we could do something to uh, make things a little more interesting. Eh? Oh, how about another round of pirate? <laughs> no one hoists my sail like you do, Bax. Hmm. Could we play something other than pirate? We can play whatever your deviant little heart desires.
You know, that bottle just gave me an idea. Oh, I know exactly what game we're going to play. We have to get inside Julian's room and get that bottle before he opens it. Why does Timmy get the feeling that when Chubby says we, she actually means Timmy? Well, you're so much smaller than I am, Timmy. You'll have a much easier time of it. Time of what? Climbing up that handy-dandy trellis to Julian's bedroom. But Timmy's fallen off every trellis he's ever climbed. Well, you won't fall off this one. Now, come on, up you go. In Timmy's next life, he's coming back as Spider-Man. Hmm. Timmy's next life is going to start quicker than he thinks if he doesn't get that bottle back. Come on. Oh. I didn't know you wanted to get married sooner than later. I thought you wanted to wait. Now you know, I'd like to get married before too much longer and start a family. This isn't the right place for Luis and Sheridan to discuss such a personal matter. They should discuss this in private, where people aren't hanging on their every word. Oh, but Mama Luis and Sheridan Even are... if those people are family. Uh, Plo's right. I'll just put on some coffee then. I mean, we have some wedding plans to make. Oh, I'll, I'll help you, Teresa. Um, I'm gonna go out. This hour, why? I just have the strangest feeling that something is wrong with Miguel, and I, I want to go to the Bennett's and make sure he's okay. I have to help Charity. Hey, Miguel, try no. to stay still, okay? That creature hurt you pretty badly. I'm calling Eve. No, Mrs. Bennett. I'll be all right. Miguel, you really need someone to look after that mark that the no, serpent... No, my injuries weren't inflicted by anything on this earth. There's nothing any doctor can do. I have to heal another way. Faith will heal Miguel's injuries, Mrs. B. Just like my faith will help me save Charity. <laughs> I won't let you go back upstairs. All right, you almost killed. Look, I love her. I have to try to save her. Charity wouldn't want you to risk your life to save hers. I have to, Chief Bennett. All right, I'm the only person that can save her. It's up to me. I love her. I have to try to save her. I know Luis will propose to you. And then we'll have a double wedding and we'll be sisters. Won't that be wonderful? Sheridan. Hmm? I'm sorry, Teresa. What were you saying? You really love Luis, don't you? So much. And you know that you want to marry him, right? Oh, absolutely. But I don't want you to say anything to Luis that might make him feel pressured or that I'm trying to force him into a bigger commitment. Because I'm not. If and when Luis and I take the next step, I want it to be right for both of us. I understand. Good. Because <laughs> your brother is not someone who likes to be rushed or coerced into anything. And I would never want to do that to Luis. I know that he loves me. He has a lot on his mind right now. When the time is right, we'll talk about marriage again. Now, I hear what you're saying. But underneath it all, I can tell that you're nervous. Why? Because I love Luis. I don't want to risk losing him. But you won't. Every time I've had love in my life, I've lost it. And now I finally met the right man. I want to marry Luis. I want to spend the rest of my life with him, start a family with him. I'm certain of it. I'm just so afraid that we might lose our chance of getting married if we wait too long. 
Got a lot to think about, huh? <laughs> yeah. More than I ever imagined. You do love her, right? Totally. She can't just rush into marriage. It's, a, it's too big a step. It's a lifelong commitment. Got a lot to think about. Yeah, I was the same way a year ago. I was so nervous about getting engaged to Gwen. Yeah. But your gut was right. You got engaged to Gwen, and hours before the wedding, you realized well, she wasn't the right woman for you. And, uh, would have been a huge mistake if you would have buckled under pressure and married her. Is that what you're worried about, Louise? You don't think Sheridan's the right woman? That if you married her, you would be making a huge mistake? I wonder what will happen if I rub this magic bottle I find. Rub, rub, rub! You rubbed, master? Mm. Abra, my cadabra. A genie. Yes, master. I am your genie. Able to grant you three wishes. You may have anything that you want. Anything? I wish um, for you to do a little dance for me and uh, maybe lose some of those veils. Your wish is my command. on. Julian and Rebecca are playing dress up. He's Aladdin and she's a genie. But Rebecca's costume keeps falling off. Every time she dances for him, another veil falls off. What do you mean veil? Oh, oh, Timmy, close your eyes. Don't look. Oh no. Rebecca ran out of veils. Timmy can't look. Timmy can't not look. Oh no! Julian's costume fell off too! What's he doing to her? What's she doing to him? Why are they all twisted together like that? Oh! That's why! Oh no! You come in, Charity. I won't let you go back. Upstairs. But I have to! Listen, Miguel, I know how much you love her, right? How much you care about her. But I won't let you go back up there and risk your life again. Believe me, you have no idea what you're dealing with. It's evil. We're all up against evil. Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. I need to see Miguel. I had a feeling that something... Oh, my God. What happened? Miguel went back into hell to try to save Charity. And then this monster grabbed Miguel in his mouth and started thrashing him around like he was some little chew toy. Ay, madre de Dios. What? And that's where the mark on his stomach came from. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. How did you save him? Uh, actually, I didn't. Grace did. But how? She was surrounded by this 
went light and just commanded the sermon back into hell. And it obeyed you. But the angel told me that I had the power to stop evil. Yeah, Mrs. B was like Buffy and, and Dina all rolled up into one. God, thank heaven you're all right. God used Mrs. Bennett to save me. Now I have to save Charity. I've already told him it's too, way too dangerous. Miguel, Sam is right. It's too dangerous. We will find another Mama, way to sell charity. But Mama, there's no other way. Shh, please, just lie down and rest. Ah. Easy. There you go. I'm going to make a compress for that mark that the serpent left. Okay. And I'll get on the internet and see if I can find something else we can use. You're not alone, Miguel. We're all going to work together to try to find charity. All right. You rest. We'll, we'll just be right here in the kitchen if you need anything. I'll help you with the compress. All right. Okay. I can't rest when Charity's burning in hell. I have to try to save her. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, dollface. This is no time to lie down on the job. Get up. Come on, come on. <laughs> I told you not to look. Now you've got hysterical blindness. Oh, come on. Oh, of course, seeing Julian and Rebecca are doers enough to make anyone queasy, even me. And I parted with Caligula. <laughs> huh? Oh, never mind. Just get your sight back. Hurry up. Or I'll have to gouge your eyes out and sew new ones in. Jimmy can see! Jimmy can see! It's a miracle! Oh, come on, drama doll. Now that you're cured, we still have to get that bottle back. Oh, please, Tubby. Don't make Jimmy go up there again and... Rebecca and Julian could still be... Oh, you know. Oh. Mm, well, even I'm... Well, even I'm not that cruel. Oh, I'll just have to think of another way to get the bottle back, Timmy. Think, Timmy. Think. You still have two wishes left. Oh. <laughs> My insatiable Scheherazade. Allow me to demonstrate what I would like for my second wish. Meow! Meow! Yes, my little sex kitten. Oh, purr, baby, purr! Oh, Julian, it's not me. Oh, there's some cat outside, and it's killing the mood. What? I should take care of it. Meow! 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 You know, I still think we can have a double wedding. Then you better think again. Because you saw the look on Luis's face when I told him I'd be happy to get married now. He looked like a deer that didn't see the truck till it was too late. <laughs> he was just surprised, that's all. I don't know, Teresa. 
Louise isn't ready to get married yet. You never know, Sheridan. Louise might be more ready than you think. Louise, I think you know when you find the right woman. You know, I've always loved Gwen, but something always held me back from totally committing to her. It's like on some level I knew she wasn't the one for me. And Teresa was? Oh, I knew without a doubt that she was the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I just think you have to look deep inside your heart and ask yourself, is Sheridan the right one for you? Yeah, without a doubt. She's the one. And you already know what you're going to do. And that's your answer. Oh, Julian, do something. Oh, that screeching reminds me of Ivy. Oh, the thought. Shut up, you contemptible cat. I haven't got my third wish yet. Oh, Timmy doesn't want it. No. With you, cat. Ow. Ow. Oh, take that mouse breath. Ow. Mission accomplished. <laughs> oh dear, I threw the bottle out. Must go downstairs and get it. Oh, Julian, I can wait till morning. But I can't. I guess you're right, my abracadabra acrobat. Now, where were we? Your third wish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Acuba, dear. It's Tabitha. I got you back. And this time, I'll put a stop to you. I wouldn't be too sure about that, girlfriend. I'm not through causing calamity yet. No, not by a long shot. Talk to Luis. I hope he isn't too freaked out about this whole marriage thing. No, not at all. He loves you. He loves you a lot. I think what's happened is given him a lot to think about. Me too. You know, I don't know about you, but... I think this debate about marriage, I'm, I'm glad it's out in the open. In fact, I, I think Teresa may be right. There might be a double wedding after all. You're kidding. I think there could be. I really do. It's good coffee. Thanks. Not that I really need it. I'd be up all night as it is without the caffeine. A lot to think about. Louise, you know that you're gonna marry Sheridan someday. So why not just go ahead and ask her to marry you? It's not that easy. Yes, it is. You're just trying to make it complicated. Look, fate brought you and Sheridan together. It means for you to get married and spend the rest of your lives together. So why fight it? I'm not exactly fighting No, it. you're just dragging your feet. You're looking for trouble where there isn't any. What, all the above? Look, no offense, sis. But most times, you act without thinking. I'm the opposite. I think before I act. Stop making excuses and go ask her. <laughs> ask Sheridan to marry you. Propose to her now.
These herbs may help soothe the marks the serpent left on McGill. I hope so. It's amazing that he didn't suffer any puncture wounds. I j Grace, I... I can't even imagine how horrible it must have been for him. Thank you again for saving my son's life. I'm going to start keeping a log on everything that's happened. Send it to Stephen King. What's been going on around here would make an awesome book. I just hope it has a happy ending. That we get Charity back and that this, this evil that's threatening harmony just goes away. I hope so too, Jess. And for some reason, I think the worst is still to come. How's it going over here? Well, I don't know if this will help, but I have to do something. I, I just can't stand to see my son in pain. When you first got here, you said you sensed Miguel was in danger. Was it a premonition? No. Just a mother's instinct. I felt something when I kissed him goodbye earlier tonight. He, he acted as if he knew that he would never see me again. And he wouldn't have if you hadn't saved him. I didn't save him. God saved him. Still, I thank both you and God that Miguel is okay. Oh, Miguel really is okay. I'm so scared for him. Oh my God, Miguel must be going upstairs to get charity. Miguel, stop. All right, you are too weak to be on your feet right now. I know you mean well, Kay, but you need to leave me alone. I can't. I care about you too much. I know. And I love you for it. But you have to let me do this. I have to go back into the flames of hell to save Charity. Miguel, no! I will not let you do this! It's not your choice, Kay! mine. I love Charity. I have to try to save her before it's too late. Now get out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> 